Hey, what's up, you guys? Rocket Man here, and I th we're playing some Steelers, Texans, and well, I just decided to play one of my subscribers because he somehow found out what my channel name was and he added me. So if you're a subscriber and you want to watch this, or if even if you watch this video and you want to play me, challenge me, I will play you. Challenge accepted. I'll play you and we'll have a bunch of fun and I'll upload it and well, it'll just be really cool. So if you want to do it, just inbox me, comment, anything really. I'll just play you. I don't know if you're going to destroy me or if I'm going to destroy you. That's the fun of the game because I have no clue how good this kid is. We're playing in Staple. I don't, never mind. I'm not even going to say the stadium. All right, Steelers, Texans here. He's going to receive the ball as I'm going to defend left because it's not right, but it's left. Cheesy joke right there. And Rackers, he'll be kicking it off Neil Rackers. He makes a big decision in this game. He does some really great things for me. All right, the kickoff will be right here at the beginning of the game, obviously. And Brown, I think, is going to return this to the 17-yard, 16-yard line. So close. And Raplesberger will be back there to start off the game with the first offensive possession of the game. This will be a handoff to Mendenhall. Mendenhall running. Mendenhall can't find any gaps in the defense. Defense saw right there. No yard gain. Second and ten. Mindy, Mindy. Mindy gonna bendy. Roethlisberger back in shotgun. J.J. Watt trying to get some pressure back there on the quarterback. And he's out all on that pass. And what a catch right there by Brown. That was an amazing catch. I don't know how it got through my defensive. It The ball like traveled through my defender's face. I have to say that right there. It teleported through his face. Mario Williams trying to get some pressure. Gets down one blocker. And he can't really get anything going right there with Mindy. So Watt making a solid tackle. Not letting anything get past him. And I don't think if he knew it was on two-minute quarters or not. But I was too much of a dumbass to change it. Or even check what the difficulty was on. It's all pro. It's all pro. And it's two-minute quarters, just if you were wondering. And that's an incomplete pass. Obviously, as you just saw, this is going to be a Hail Mary, I guess. It just looks like by formation. Third and ten. Throwing up a prayer. Wide open, Crotchery. What am I doing on defense? I'm just scrambling around to even touch this guy. Jay Crotchery, 31-yard gain. Right there at the 35-yard line. And he's going to have a first and ten. What a play. I don't even know what even happened. J.J. Watt breaking down a blocker. Mindy getting about four yards. And Smith making the tackle there. Or Mendenhall doesn't seem too happy. He shouldn't. Hasn't done really anything. Ryan's going to try to get some pressure here. Mindy getting something. Breaks a tackle. But he stopped short of the first down marker. Quinn Jr. making the tackle. Third and one. So what's he going to do here? Roethlisberger has an empty backfield. I'm trying to defend the pitch. Make sure he doesn't pitch it. And what did I think? I defended the pitch. And he goes down the middle with Roethlisberger. 13 seconds left in the first. I don't know if he's even paying attention to that clock, but it just keeps going down. Tick tock. And it's going to end it this way. First quarter is scoreless for us down here in Texans. And the Texans haven't even gotten an offensive possession. It's just been backs up against the wall this whole game so far. Roethlisberger back in shotgun. Looking for something. Pass pass outside. That's pass interference, Madden. I was on defense. I don't even know how that wasn't pass interference. Can someone please tell me how that wasn't? Anyways, Madden needs to fix that. Hopefully 13 will be fixed. Back and forth. What the hell was that? You cannot throw to your linebackers, Ben Roethlisberger. You just can't throw to your linebackers. That's, you, you know... You have, you have wide receivers for a reason, Ben Roethlisberger. Throw to them, please. Make the video more interesting. J.J. Watt getting past some blockers. Nothing happening. Stop short as it'll be fourth and three. And this is an easy chip shot field goal. Unless he pulls a Billy Cundiff here. That is a question. Will it be Billy Cundiff or not? The kicker right here, the kick returner, hoping to get some action. Hoping he'd Billy Cundiff it. And he's not happy. He's like, man, I wanted to return that all the way. But whatever. Whatever you say. Finally, the Texans get their first offensive possession of this game. We're already five minutes in the video, and we 
we haven't even gotten an offensive possession. A great kickoff at the beginning, kickoff return, just to the 20-yard line. I mean, I could have let it go back, and we could have had four extra seconds on our clock. But whatever. Matt Schaub getting the first hike of the game to lead this offense. All right, let's jump right into it. Schaub back in shotgun formation. He's looking around. Can't really find anyone open. Great defense. He's going to try to hit Jones. Jones, I'll tell you this. Jones has a hell of a game for me. All right, so anyways, second down and 10. You'll understand that in a minute. Down and 10. Johnson out to the right. Jones and Crotchery out to the left. Or whoever that other guy is. Shab back in shotgun formation again on third and 10. These plays right here, I don't get how I'd convert on any of these plays. Anyways, I hate these plays awfully, so I call timeout. Yep, I just do that, you know. Just gonna call timeout because I hate the plays. So I'm gonna go with Hail Mary Four Verts here because I'll tell you this, there is something right here. This play has just some magic in it. The Four Verts. It's better than any other Hail Mary. It's better than any other passing play. Owens is a, has a gap in the middle. Oh, Daniels. Owen Daniels, amazing catch right there. Set us up at the 39 yard line. The minute and 14 left. Gonna try to get some going again. Trying to find Daniels again. Maybe even Jones. Jones bump fake, trying to get the defense off of him. Jones has it, and it's Palomalo just knocks it out of his hands. Jones now with two dropped catches. That is just my God, Jones. Come on, pick up your game, Jones. You got this. Jones and Johnson out to the right. Jones is obviously in front of Johnson. Jones has another catch, but he drops it. Three dropped catches in a row. You're joking. I don't think I'm going to target Jones anymore this game. Third and ten. I don't know where I'm going to go with this one. Daniels isn't. Daniels is tied at Gartley. This one's thrown out. Daniels sprinting. Daniel can't get there. And this is going to set us up with a 56-yard field goal for Neil Rackers. Neil Rackers obviously is going to have to have some luck on this kick. The only way I imagine Neil Rackers kicking this one in is at 100% accuracy. And it's in the air. And the shitstorm of our time has just begun with that kick has just been in. 56-yard field goal to tie it up at 3-3. Rackers now obviously after having a great kick right there, having some confidence, kicking this one. Brown on the kick return. Brown will get out to about the 17-yard line on this one. Oh, 16-yard line. Close enough. Anyways, Roethlisberger trying to lead this offense to a quick late start. Well, a late start in general. Try to lead them back in to score with 49 seconds left to go. Watt trying to get some pressure back there. Throws up a Hail Mary prayer. No completion. As there's only 40 seconds left in the game now. Heinz Ward hasn't really done much this game. I don't know if he will or not. As you can see, Mario Williams trying to get some pressure back there on the quarterback as he has not done mostly anything this game. J.J. Watt getting blocked nice. Terrible pass by Roethlisberger. And it's going to leave a third and ten now for the Steelers' Texans offense. J.J. Watt. Getting back there, trying to get some pressure. Barwin, pass, great defense there by the safety as it incompletes the pass. So it almost was completed. Anyways, fourth and ten now. They're going to punt it deep, and the guy who's dropped three passes, Jones, is kick returning this. I'm kind of scared about this. Three drops, and he's trying to return this kick. I'm going to call fair catch because I do not want him dropping that and giving the possession right over to him. I mean, if you drop three patches, you should just get on the bench. Right now, we're going back four verts again. There's only one man with 28 seconds left to throw it up to. Andre Johnson finds hole in the defense. Where's the coverage? Great play right there by Andre Johnson to catch that ball and get some extra yards out of it. And Booth Review. What is Matt doing? Booth Review. He was in bounds the whole entire play. Me and my subscriber were like, what in the world's happening? We were just laughing like crazy. Right here, you got some funky routes going. This funky route going over here by Walter. Same with Andre on the left. Perfect throw, perfect route, touchdown. Walter, everyone go back and replay that right now. Perfect pass timing, perfect route running, perfect play, perfect everything. Uh, and now it's going to be a 10-3 lead for the Texans. 
17 seconds to go as we head into the half. Rackers on the kickoff. Texans trying to get it locked down here, make sure nothing bad happens. And this kickoff's only going to lead him to the 12-yard line, as hasn't had really much luck on any special teams. There's 14 seconds left in this game. Only a prayer is going to get them to score this game. Score in this first half, let's put it. Cody trying to get some pressure. Gets past the block, but it's picked up easily. And this one right here. Oh, my God. Mike Wallace finding a hole in the defense. And that right there just changed the whole game. Excuse me. So that's a huge play. Jonathan Joseph, obviously not very happy about that. He's tired about it. He just needs to pick up his game at the coverage end of the game. And now it's going to be, what am I doing? I almost got screwed right there. I was in kickoff. I was thinking he was going to kick a field goal. So I was back in coverage. I wasn't playing coverage, so I was about to be screwed. It, it should be 10-10 right now. Thank God I called timeout before he called hike. And now I obviously have my defensive set out there. Which probably saved me the game. Roethlisberger back to pass. Great pass. Great run. Oh, my. Tipped off one wide receiver. Tipped off the other. That was such a close play right there. And that's gonna how it's going to end. 10-3 for Texans going into the second half. We get the ball back. He's going to try to do an onside kick here. Thank God Ryan recovers. He kind of just lost hope after I took lead at the half. I don't know what he was thinking, but whatever. I'll take those extra yards. Get me in half field. Trying to get some luck here with Foster. Foster not find any holes. James Harrison laying down the laws down there in the bullpen. Not really much happening there on that offensive possession. And now Schaub gets another one. Schaub dropping back. Doesn't find much room. Throws it out to Andre Johnson. He splits the defense and gets out for a nice 10-yard Game? I'm not sure about that. Anyways, so now we got some Foster. I'm going to try to get Foster to go out to the left side here. Just trying to burn some clock off here because, I mean, this game is just way too close to give him all the time in the world to score again. Foster trying to get some land. Huge hit right there by Clark. Foster will get about three yards on that gain. I really wish I could have gotten a little bit more with Foster this game, but that's okay. Matt Schaub. Matt Schaub now dropping back. Finds Jones. I thought Jones got that first down. Barely. Third and one. If you don't know about this play right here when it's third and one. Well, folks. Learn to use it. Player type. Matt Schaub. QB sneak. Works almost every single time. As I see right here. Troy Palomalu coming in quick. Barely got it off. Troy Palomalu. Palomalu trying to get in. And right here, I see that the defense has shifted a little bit more to the left. Owen Daniels taking a fade route. Easy touchdown. Wide open. Owen Daniels. Touchdown. The so Texans will take a 17-3 lead. With a pending extra point, obviously. Neil Rackers is 100% on accuracy and 100% on target. As we are now heading into the next possession here for the Steelers. They need to start getting some offense going here. And that's exactly what they're hoping to do. Rackers kicks it off deep. Brown on the return. Brown trying to get some. They haven't had much success. Brown going, going. Gets out to the 27-yard line right there. They're finally finding some success on special teams. Game plan. Obviously messing with our game plan here. Texans and Steelers. Texans 17, Steelers 3s. Here we are with 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Cody trying to get some pressure back on the quarterback. Roethlisberger back to pass. Great catch, but Heinz Ward can't hold on. Got to hold on to that Heinz Ward, especially if you've been in this league so long. Obviously, Madden doesn't want to update the game anymore. Obviously, Ward has no longer been on the Steelers. It's sad the legacy has ended the Georgia player. Brown, huge sack right there. Chris Barwin making the sack. What a play. Roethlisberger almost got his head chopped off on that sack. I'm sure he wish he could have that play back. 21 seconds left here in the third. Smith trying to get some pressure. He finds a little gap. This one's thrown deep and great coverage there again. We haven't really made too many 
defensive errors this game. Roethlisberger, obviously not happy. I'm just waiting to see what he's going to do here because I obviously do not not want to be in Plunt Buck, man, when he's going to do it. Yep, he has three wide receivers out there. So I'll go ahead and throw out my regular defense. See what I can pull off any defensive thing. I'm going to do two man under. Actually, I'll do link. There we go. Cody back there trying to get some pressure. I, my offensive line this game has been terrible, I'll give you that. We don't have one sack this whole game. Terrible. How the world you let him get that? Oh, my God. Mike Wallace obviously having a huge game. He has so fast. I would go out and edit who I have on him, but I'm just too lazy to go edit who's on him. All right. Here we go. They... That'll be the end of the third quarter as we go into the fourth. It's 3-17. to 17. Game's kind of not looking too great here, but they will find a chance. And, well, the game's never over till it's over. Let's put it that way. Brian Cushing trying to get some pressure back there, bringing an extra man on the line. Barwin misses the sack. Manning on the tackle. Manning on the interception, not tackle. Oops. And I thought this would have just what happened. I thought that play right there was going to be a pick six. If you don't know anything about pick sixes, go to the Cowboys-Texans game. Because that game ended in style. Matt Schaub has five completed passes in a row. So he's looking to heat up here in the late. Corner split. Throw it out to Owen Daniels. Owen Daniels can't connect with Matt Schaub. Here we are in second and ten, and we're running ISO, de ISO defense. We're on offense. ISO offense, Walters and Daniels. Same play, hoping to get some better results out of this one. Throw it up again, just time. Daniels can connect. He's going to get a huge gainage of yards. And I don't know what I did there thinking. Let's run to the right. Herp de derp derp. We are on the eight lo yard line. First and goal. A minute, 36 seconds left. Trying to get this game out of reach here for the Steelers. Because I'll tell you this. It is never over until it is over. See if Foster can get up there in any yardage possibility. Foster getting out there gets he loses two yards so now I'm ten I'm at the ten yard line second and goal I'm gonna call hike just to see if I can run his offense a little bit off seam I have Walter and Daniel going to the left Johnson stopping short and Vickers going to the left Walter and Daniel's going to the right excuse me I throw it out to Vickers Vickers gets about seven yards six yards so now it's third down and four I'm gonna run that exact same play I like that play all right, let's see if we can get anything going. Vickers not seem... They pull Vickers. They pull a man to cover Vickers back. And now I'm going to throw it up to Walters. Walters dive and catch to catch it in the back of the end zone. Touchdown. Texans take a 23-3 lead over the Steelers with 52 seconds left with a pending field goal. Walters already has two touchdowns in this game. One a perfect route. Another a diving catch to make himself look like one of the most viable wide receivers in history. Well, not really. Viable Matt Leinart with a good hold. I'll give you that, Leinart. Give you that. Because that's probably the only thing you'll ever get in this game. Rackers will be kicking it off to this not so hot offense of the Steelers. Here we are, Brown on the return. Not much success except one time. He gets stuffed back to the 12. Yep, the 12 yard line right there. Here we are, Roethlisberger taken back to the offensive yard. Reigns of the offense. J.J. Watt and Barwin looking to have some success here. Trying to get back there on the quarterback. Barwin going back, trying to get there. Not much pressure. Thrown out of bounds by Roethlisberger. Not a great play right there by him. Here we are in the 19th minute of this video. 44 seconds in the fourth quarter. It's game plan. Using my game plan the way I use my game plan. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. Never mind about that. All right, here we are. Roethlisberger back. Four verts out. Hail Mary in formation. Roethlisberger throw out and cannot connect. Off his hands, off his helmet, off his hands again, off his knee. What are you doing, Mike Wallace? You can catch those fast running ones, but when it comes down to the basics itself, you didn't catch that one. But I give you all props, Mike Wallace, because you are one of the best wide receivers in the game, except for Andre Johnson. And he has to go for it here. Here we are, third and ten. He's going to have to throw another Hail Mary. This time he connects with, I don't know, but he calls a timeout anyways. 33 seconds left to go. He still has a hope 
and making this game look like a game. Williams, Mario Williams, not done much this game. I haven't even used him in the coverage zone. That one's blown coverage right there by Joseph. Manning can't get it. And that's going to be a touchdown for the Steelers. It's now it's going to be 10-24, the pending field goal here. Obviously, something I wasn't very happy about. I should have had that coverage a little bit better. But this whole game, every single one of their receivers have been faster than me. And here we are in the bullpen as it is 10-24. Texans leading. And the crowd is not too happy about the last touchdown, but they are happy about the score here in Texas. And, well, I'm a dumbass. As it was onside kick formation. And what do I do here when I decide I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on off? I'm going to put it on... Onside kick formation. I don't look down. I don't scroll down, so I'm using the exact same play. I just wasted a timeout. Whatever. Let's see if it works. And Brahman almost giving it up off his foot, just making the dive for the extra safety. So he picks up it, making sure, just trying to keep some cautious going here. Here we are right now. Just trying to get a little bit more stuff the scoreboard here. I'm liking Ben Tate this game. Ben Tate, you get a lob. Lob up to Ben Tate. He's going to have to get some serious ups. And, well, Tyler Taylor's going to get a little bit more on that one. He gets a nice return out of that one, too. About a 10-yard, 15-yard return. And Ike Taylor's really the only hot spot of this Steelers defense this game. Has 16 seconds left here for the Steelers to try to... I don't know really what they're planning to do here. Touchdown. Onside kick. Touchdown. Whatever it is, I'm all for it. Watt trying to get back there. Jackson blown coverage. I thought he should have caught that ball, but it slipped out of his fingertips. Mike, Mike Wallace just couldn't pull it down. That was a finger roll catch right there. J.J. Watt and Cody Miller trying to man the reins again. I've said this so many times. You're probably bored of it. Rapeless Burger throws it out of bounds again. God damn it, Rapeless Burger. <laughs> I'm using my game plan here. Man up D. Cushion going deep. Alright, Roethlisberger again in Hail Mary formation. Will it work this time? Triple teamed. No good. With one second left in the game. All for his hopes now. One second left in the game. As this play right here is obviously just to try to do whatever you want. Just use some new game plan. Whatever. JJ Watt. Obviously being stupid there. Roethlisberger just throwing up a bomb. Good sportsmanship by the other subscribers. Stay in the game. Alright, thank you guys for subscribe. Well, you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you guys for watching. Rocky Man out and we'll put the link to the person we destroyed in the com comment section below. Well, in the description. Oh my god, I'm off this game. Description. Sexy touchdown in the background. Goodbye. Don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Face well we don't have Facebook, but just check us out on Twitter, subscribe, rate, comment. Thank you guys.